So we didn't really tell you our plans, but uh, we're not flying directly into Krakow. We landed in Katowice, and now we will be catching a bus to Krakow. Hope we make it. Made it to Krakow. Just got off our little shuttle. Thought it was gonna be more of a bus, but it was like a sprinter van, which is okay. But, I had a horrible seat. Yep, about a two hour ride. It was pretty uncomfortable. We got car sick. Couldn't see out the windshield. But now we're here and we're gonna go to our place and then find some food ready for some uh, Polish food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so today we are exploring Krakow's old town. So we pulled over for lunch, but we got here and realized on the menu there's something called a warming drink, and it is so good. I basically think it's like mold wine, but without the wine. It's like raspberry tea with ginger and lemon, and it's kind of cold outside, and it's really it's so good. It's so good. Well, that was delicious. It was good, but I only got a quarter of my food because Nick stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ordered soup. She ordered stew. There was a whole mix-up, <laughs> and hers, which I thought was mine, came out first. And it was better. And I Oh, it was way better. I dug in. It was a mess. I'm and so I wasn't sorry, gonna eat intestines. Yeah, I ordered tripe soup. Not good. Sorry. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> So we've not been in Krakow long, but so far we love just the atmosphere, the vibe, the architecture. Such a cute old town. And I feel like we haven't even seen that much of it yet. Uh-oh, found Little Miss Sweet Tooth. You ate my lunch. That's true. <laughs> Which one do I want, toffee or without filling? I think I'm gonna go without filling. I got one without filling sanitize first because I have to touch it. So basically, donuts are universal, but these are like, what if, like the, not like a long john, but like just like jelly filled donuts back in the States, but apparently not as greasy. No, no, they help. Head, size of my head for comparison. <laughs> So we're in Krakow's Cloth Market Hall, which is basically uh, just a building right off the central square. Lots of little vendors and shops. Kind of a dangerous place for Ali to be. We've spotted Ali Kennett in her natural habitat. <laughs> so this market hall is like full of dragon plushies. And I was starting to wonder if like, Maybe Ljubljana just had a surplus of those or something and Krakow bought the extra and stitched their name on them, but uh, I asked somebody and it turns out that the dragon is Krakow's town symbol. So we're wrapping up our walking tour of Krakow's old town. 
Allie, what's been your favorite part? Just walking around, honestly. The streets are super cute. It's a real walkable city, at least that portion of town is. Yeah, I, th I think both of us, we've only been here 24 hours, but have found Poen super charming and are uh, interested in checking out what else is left. Also very delicious. Oh, the food has been awesome so far. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Uh, we got some fun stuff planned. Stay tuned. <sighs> Good morning from Krakow. We are out and about today and we're really excited for two things. Number one, food. What a surprise. Number two, history. Yeah, we're on our way to a cooking class where we're going to make Poland's national dish, the pierogi. And then later, we've got an interesting historical site we're going to go see. Thank you. We're here at our pierogi cooking class. Say hey, everybody. <laughs> At the end, we will have to go with your hands eventually. But now we need it, yeah. we give it some more love, yes? More love. More love, more affection. Ali Kennett, need the dough. Michel, just take it Michel. And uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, you can work on it a little bit more because you still feel that it's like mm -hmm. a little bit too wet. Yeah. And you can give it a little bit more uh, power, yes? Catch. Uh, more power. More, more, uh, more flour and more power. Yes, yeah. flour. I'm wrapping. I'm wrapping now. Starving. We have to cut the onions. smaller because we put half of the teaspoon inside the filling so you don't mm -hmm. want it to have it too too big okay so mm -hmm. this we can keep for the filling and this if you can cut it a little bit smaller but okay I can take this okay. I will cut it a okay. little bit okay. more in the kitchen Thanks. don't worry she had to take my onions into the kitchen to fix them without embarrassing me Facing up, okay. Got on there, man. It's like first for real. Okay. We are now very, very close from getting close. Yeah. This is our wonderful host, yes. Karina. Thank you. Hi. We're having a great time <laughs> making all kinds of pierogi, savory, sweet, you name it. How do you think we did? I did good. Wow. <laughs> Shots you did, fired. You did great. Thank you. We have rolled out the sequined tablecloth and we are preparing to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Now for the part I'm actually good at. Mmm. That's the roll, That's the roll. So we are now certified Polish chefs. I believe that's what this means. Um, we are pierogi experts. Take lessons from Ali. She'll be teaching them at our house. Just kidding. So we just finished our pierogi class hosted by Karina and Ali has some things to say. Okay, one, Karina, like the nicest human ever. She was so, so sweet. She opened her home to us. So gorgeous. Like, ugh. I loved it. Nice person. Two, I feel like I can make a pierogi right now by myself. So very informative. And I love that she gave us history of the place that we were in. Yeah. And we were just like hanging out around her kitchen table. So if you're ever in Krakow and want to learn how to make pierogi, Karina's your lady. Absolutely. And uh, she wrote a cookbook as well, which we're going to link below. Yeah. So I'm going to make a bunch of Polish food. Check it out. All right. So I told you we had two stops today. Stop one was all about food. Stop two is all about history. So we are about a minute away from the Schindler factory and museum. If you've seen the popular film Schindler's List, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
neither of us have actually seen that movie, but uh, we've been reading up and are excited to see the place and, uh, and learn about what happened. Thank you.